Okay, call me crazy, but when nine and 10 year olds are worried about an anti aging skincare routine, has the beauty and skincare industry and their marketing gone too far? I'm Dr. Mary Alice Nina. I'm a board certified dermatologist. Welcome to my channel, The Skin Reel, where I give real people real skin information so that they can make informed and educated decisions about their skin health without the gimmicks and the hype. Sound good? Be sure to subscribe. This is my weekly recap episode where I break down my key takeaways from my podcast episode, The Real Scoop on Sephora Babies with Dr. Brooke Jeffy. If you want to check out the full episode, be sure to stay tuned to the end of this video. So if you're listening to this, you probably are interested in your skin health and skincare. You may have heard about this concept of Sephora Babies, where we have these really young children, as young as 8, 9, 10 years old, going into Sephora or Ulta or these beauty stores and buying tons of skincare products, expensive skincare products, lots of actives, and, and being marketed to this vulnerable young population for their skincare benefits and how it will keep their skin young looking and glowing. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't think a 9, 10, or 11-year-old needs to be worried about anti-aging. And so I love that people like Dr. Brooke Jeffy are really spreading awareness about this. And some states are even trying to put bans on this. They haven't passed, but that's how pervasive a problem this has become. So you may be saying, well, what's the big deal? Well, it seems like everyone's really interested in skincare nowadays, which I love as a dermatologist. But unfortunately, a lot of times people are more interested in skincare products than actually really learning how to take care of their skin. And unfortunately, this has trickled down to these young children, these tweens, 10 to 12 years old, who are being marketed to heavily by the skincare and beauty industry and being told they need all these products, a complicated skincare routine. And then we also have influencers and even children influencers who are also doing videos and posting about their complicated and expensive skincare routine. And unfortunately, it is overkill. It is unnecessary. Even adults don't need this complicated routine, but certainly not children where their skin barrier is still so fragile and fresh. This is not the way to be teaching our young people how to take care of their skin. So tweens and teens, their skin barrier is still immature and it's still developing. So harsh actives in this young population is not necessary. Things like vitamin C serums, they do not need them alpha hydroxy acids and really even beta hydroxy acids and retinols and retinoids tend to be unnecessary for most people in this age group. They just don't need it. Their skin doesn't need it. And instead of helping their skin out, it's actually going to be damaging their skin barrier, giving them red, raw, irritated skin. And that's not the look they're going for. And also, just like what I say with adults, when you use too many actives, a lot of times they cancel each other out they can cause irritation and you negate the benefits of using just one or two of them selectively. So instead, what I would encourage you if you have a tween or teen is to help them with establishing healthy skincare habits now. And the skincare habits are really simple. They need a gentle cleanser, they need a moisturizer, and they must use a sunscreen. If we can get our kids to start doing this, even as young as eight, nine, 10, we're going to be helping their skin be healthy and beautiful for decades to come. Now I get today's tweens and teens. I do not envy them. They are growing up in a time unlike any other we've ever experienced. So my awkward tween and teen years where I struggle with acne, that's just a rumor as far as I'm concerned, right? It's like, show me the proof that that actually happened. I don't really have photos from that. Thank goodness. But in today's world, Everything is documented with pictures and it's out there on the web and social media. And it's out there for everyone to see those awkward periods that these children are going through. And we're also on our phones all the time. We're on social media. We're looking at these filtered images and unrealistic ideals. And so it's bound to be difficult for these tweens and teens to see that and then to see that their skin may not be perfect, that they have pores, they have acne. And so they're comparing themselves to this unrealistic 
ideal that doesn't exist. So what I like to encourage parents, if you've got tweens and teens, is to instead of focusing on skincare products and routine, I think a better approach is to focus more on self-care measures that will also help with their skin. So focusing on things like the importance of exercise and movement, the importance of a healthy diet with whole foods, with fruits and vegetables and lean protein and healthy fats and minimizing refined sugars. Also helping with stress reduction and anxiety, which seems to be riddling our younger generation so much today. And of course, avoiding vaping. It seems like the world has gotten the message that smoking is bad for our health, but now people don't smoke cigarettes. Now they are switching to vaping, and this is really common in younger populations. So I think instead of focusing on skincare products that help our young people focus on more holistic lifestyle choices that will really impact their skin down the road. Now, if you have a tween who is wanting to play around with skincare, and I've got them too, so I understand, I do have a few tips for you. Skincare and beauty, it can be fun. And if your tween or teen wants to play around and have fun, let them. I know I did when I was younger. I wanted to do an avocado face mask and I mashed it up and I put it on my skin and it burned and it was terrible. It didn't help, but I really wanted to try and do it. And so I get that desire that they want to play around with stuff and have fun. So I would say let them pick out one product that maybe is a little more of a splurge or something at Sephora that they really want or their friends have as long as it's safe, right? And I'd recommend having them pick out ideally a sunscreen, because this is so important for them to use. And if they like it and they've picked it out, they're going to put it on or they'll be more likely to put it on. Hopefully try to steer them away from things with fragrances because fragrances can be sensitizing and irritating to people's skin, even if you don't have sensitive skin, but especially if you have sensitive skin, really avoid fragrances. My second tip is to model healthy skin habits yourself. Our kids are watching what we do. They're watching what we say about our own appearance and our own skin, and they're watching our skin routine. If you pack a bazillion bags of skincare products to go on trips, or you're doing that every single morning and every night, they're going to get the idea that that's what you have to do for healthy skin, and it's not true. So model the healthy behavior you want them to see and to emulate. If they see mom or dad putting on a hat before they go outside, or putting on sunscreen every morning, they're more likely to do that themselves. If you can get your child to understand the importance of sunscreen and sun protection at an early age, you are setting them up for success down the road. You're reducing their chances of not only melanomas, but other skin cancers, and you're helping keep their skin beautiful and healthy for decades to come. So I find that this is such an important habit, and if you can instill it early, you are really making an impactful difference in your child's life. The last habit I would encourage is to focus on lifestyle choices for beautiful skin. I think there is too much of an emphasis on the products and topical things we put on our skin to make ourselves look good or feel good or have healthy skin. But really, the bulk of the work comes from how we treat our overall body, what we put into our body, the food that we're eating, how we move, how we handle stress and try to minimize it the importance of sleep. These are all hugely important in how we look and feel. And so focusing on this rather than a complicated 10-step expensive skincare routine is going to move the needle much farther for your teen or tween in giving them beautiful, healthy skin for life. I could talk about this topic forever and I get so many questions about it. But if you are interested in hearing more, hearing the full episode, be sure to check it out here. Dr. Jeffy is such a leader in this and really has such a great message for tweens and teens out there. And if you're the parent of one of these kids, I really hope you'll check it out to help encourage them to have healthy skin habits. Okay, skin friend, I'll see you next week.